Okay folks, we're going to uh, install Jitsi, uh, the latest version, and configure it up for uh, grabbing some voice over IP capture. So I've just given it a uh, given it a start up, so hopefully I'll see an install, uh, install program come up very shortly. So we'll just have that come up. So here it comes. Yes, we'd like to run that. So while this is going, what we're going to do is uh, restrict it to a, uh, a couple of codecs so that uh, so that it um, records and that we can play it back. So I'm just going to uh, install this. I'm not going to auto start it for me. Um, again, install it with the standard options. So here it goes. So it shouldn't take too long with a bit of luck. So yes. So copying the new files, so there it goes. So as we set up at the beginning of it, uh, it's going to come up and ask you to configure you know, connections with the entire universe, uh, Google, um, everything. So we'll, uh, we'll avoid doing that. We only need it to set up as a pure SIP client for us. So it comes up, and if you get a box that pops up, that says, you know, please configure for Google and Facebook and all the rest of it, give it a good ignoring. Um, and then in here, you uh, you come in and you, in options, um, when you set up yourself an account, I've just set up a standard one here, so if there is no account, you come into to this portion under options, you go add, and you just pick the SIP option down here, SIP. And you just put in a name of whatever you like. So, you know, Bob, no password, add it. Okay, so then you just have a client and that's fine. That's all you need to do in here. Now in the audio space, uh, you'll see we've got uh, microphones going on and all sorts of bits and pieces. In the encodings, untick everything except PCMU and PCMA because... Uh, I believe that uh, Wireshark is able to decode both of those and having those uh, in train um, and available when we connect to a SIP server and do an echo test means that when we capture the packets we can then hopefully listen to them. So that's how you need to have it set up and that's all you need. Um, and then at this point uh, all we have is uh, when we hook up to one of our test servers, so I'll just grab grab a, uh, oh, I've probably got, uh, I've probably got some old, uh, is Tess going to give it to me? I can't recall. Anyway, let's uh, pull out the uh, the practical and I'm just going to pull up a, uh, I'm just going to pull up one of the, uh, the test ones that we can, uh, we can hit up so we can, uh, we can copy that and we put this in here. So echo at iptel.org and uh, that will allow you to uh, to ring. So we'll ring via that one and it will connect and it will give you an echo test back through your microphone and back to the, uh, the headphones so you can hear what's going on. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be catching some packets using Wireshark while we're doing the echo test. So that's it. Uh, we'll Yes, catch you in the uh, catch you in the the the, uh, the webinars, and uh, feel free to get in touch if uh, anything's too confusing. Catch you later, folks.